My name is Yi Ping Han. I'm a microbiologist at Columbia University Irvine Medical Center. I'm interested in studying how oral bacteria can cause diseases in other parts of the body and how we can circumvent those infections. My lab studies the pathogenesis mechanism of Fusobacterium nucleatum, which is a common oral bacteria, an important component of dental plaque formation but it can also disseminate from the oral cavity to other parts of the body and cause diseases. We think that this bacteria plays a significant role in pregnancy complication because it is highly prevalent during pregnancy because of the hormonal change. And pregnant women tend to develop gingivitis. And so they will have more of this bacteria and then when they brush the teeth, the gum will bleed. So that will give the, a chance of this bacteria to enter the circulation. We showed in mice that if the bacteria enters into the circulation, it can colonize in the placenta and cause inflammatory responses and leading to uh, fetal death. So in this study, we wanted to find out where that inflammation originate from. And we found that it originate from the maternal endothelial cells because it's a hematogenous infection. So the bacteria first come into contact with the endothelial cells lining the blood vessels and stimulate inflammatory responses. And so if we block that inflammatory responses, then the fetus will be protected. So we looked for uh, a safe therapeutic method to prevent that inflammation and because you know there are many uh, anti-inflammatory reagents, but most of them are not safe for pregnant women to use as a prophylactic uh, therapy during pregnancy. So we were looking for safe over-the-counter uh, measures, and we tried omega-3 fatty acids, which and we supplied uh, the pregnant mice with uh, fish oil as a source of omega-3 fatty acids, and we found that this supp new dietary supplementation very effectively suppressed placental inflammation caused by F. nucleatum and reduced uh, fetal and neonatal death. So we think that this could have translational impact. We see a dose effect in our mouse study and the doses we used in mice cannot translate directly to humans. So we need um, further human clinical trials to identify the optimal dose that it's a safe and effective. Mm -hmm.